will share just go to google.com and say ed edu ah. so you will get a site called sorry edu ted ed dot ted get ah. dot ted dot com you will go here it is a good uh, this one you can sign in with your uh, <coughs> google account let me sign so now this is the ted education here you can discover lot of video based lessons by age or subject you can see lot of for example i want to search uh, something like in uh, science and technology so if you want to say something in life sciences so there are lot of such kind of videos that are video lessons that are available uh, you can go through otherwise there are a lot of videos organized by teams also here earth school um, then uh, uh, periodic uh, videos there are a lot of such kind of videos that are al available we will not worry about that we will see a space called create how to create a video based lesson and uh, now can any one of you uh, i think majority of you might have created your own uh, youtube videos can any one of you send me the link of your youtube video we will create a lesson on that can any one of the can any one of you send a video youtube video that you have created for your class link of that youtube video no one has created agya preet can you send that link youtube link yes sir uh, i would be sending uh, with just 5 minutes okay anyone can send uh, so now uh you have to put uh, you can actually what you can do for example uh you can have many other things also just i wanted to create because uh you have created lot of youtube uh, lectures i want to put your own youtube lecture to create otherwise uh, ah she has sent let me take it so it is madam's youtube lecture madam are you seeing this is the youtube lecture that you have created madam yes sir it is the youtube lecture that i have created yeah. so i want to create yes, a youtube video lesson on this kind of lectures that you have created so let me continue creating a video lecture so now uh, this is the video that you have created so now what is this video madam you can tell me what is this video about i think it is here only i think uh, uh, chemical fission this is sir so this is about the yeah this is about the finishing treatment we give to textiles i am right, a textile right. engineer no issues so, so i have put it here about the yeah this is the video about madam okay. can you give me one multiple you can actually now you have created lot of this video uh you can give lot of multiple choice questions wherever you you want see on this video for example uh what uh, uh you can give me you can madam can you type me one or two multiple choice questions one mcq you can type i can type any number of mcqs here okay based on this video 
see for example the student goes through that video for example i will write um uh finishing of textile something on i will wait because i don't know anything about this finishing of textiles i have to wait for madam can you write in chat box one mcq one question and two answers sorry two possible mcq so that i can enter that sir i am type 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 no issue so you can create good number of mcq questions here on the video and also you can give some hint on this okay hello sir so good evening sir hi sir okay sir ha अच्छा Sir, if the if they have any such kind, can you? <laughs> sir, it is not there, sir. It is not there. You just yeah, you get a link. Can you if you can scan it, send me. Oh, yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, that's what, sir. Yeah, uh, it is not there, sir. Uh, please, sir. Okay. Yeah. okay okay sir definitely no issues no issues sir ha ah. ah. ha ah. ha okay okay sir ha ah. okay sir oh okay 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 sir ah. oh nice nice sir <laughs> okay sir sir okay i will sir i i i will i will call you sir i am taking one lecture i will call you sir sir this payment you just uh, okay sir okay i will send it i will yeah De definitely sir definitely i will i will i will call you sir after this yeah uh, oh thank you sorry uh, so like this you can uh, begin you can think and then dig deeper so madam has sent any questions i will check which is uh, yeah i can add like this questions lot of questions i can add you can discuss uh, is uh, this is a good method okay and finally uh, so this is what you finally discuss okay and finally your conclusions you can put lot of questions a lot of uh, mcqs on your own video so that the students will answer now i will publish i will publish i don't want any students to have ted accounts i want to share your lesson so how to share now i want to share this lesson to all of you so let us argument sake you can see i uh, you can just type whatever you want show you uh, how you are actually processing i have shared the lesson in the class this one so now please join this lesson video lesson 
please join this video lesson i should be able to tell you how to uh hope you are understanding what please join the video lesson uh, https edtech.com on i have shared it in the chat box i will be able to see you have you uh, made any kind of progress and other things okay you can uh, i will be sh showing you how to see the progress of the students who are watching the videos please join let us see here how many uh, now again i want to share and show you please please join i uh, please join and uh, see yeah. no one has come let me check sir i, I am watching it but uh, what else we have to do you are you are watching no you please uh, answer that uh, what is that quiz multiple choice question so that i have uh, one student one discussion it has come you please see here sir we are unable to find the mcqs we cannot see the here, mcqs go to think there. go to think and answer that's all go to think okay okay, okay go sir. to watch and watch the video go to think and uh, uh, write the mcq go to dig uh what is uh, dig deeper discuss and finally so here i will be able to see what is the statistics here review student work Ma mr shrividya ganeshan has seen uh, puranik prithviraj pallavi kv kalleri veena swami only these people have joined and seen are you able to see this lesson statistics Then we have to log in through our mail ID first, na? Only then we can answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. It is asking it. to register. No, I have shown without. Also, you can see here. Four people have joined. Uh, so could you could you please show us again? Which that one? We have reached to the main page. Now, what exactly we have to do? You have to log in. Ah, uh, log in with our email ID. Yeah, Gmail ID. Gmail ID. Okay. Okay. just log in because there is login with google is there you can log in there is no issue after that whatever the uh, uh, um, the uh, link that i have shared you just press it okay so see here four people shri vidya has come puranik has come and uh, pallavi has come kilari veena swami has come and they have answered one open they have not participated any discussion they have answered open answer they have completed and they have given some answer and these are the discuss no one has participated in discussion and they have taken one attempt and multiple choice question what is their score everything you will get it is completely free it is completely open source no money so this you have created a video lesson did you understand creating this video lesson
so could you please quickly tell us again like still like no wh- what is the problem you tell me i will tell you so i have logged in still it is asking for some pa- password that i need to create account i guess first uh, it is just one minute you can create a password yeah, have you pa- logged in through google mm, yes sir you have logged in through google it is asking for a password yes sir no madam if you log in Thing from google, google it's not asking sir can you check my answer ambarish singh because i have filled so that's was the correct ambarish kya aapka naam kya likha hai sir ambarish ambarish singh ek minute ha uh, ambarish singh sir are you seeing you please see the screen i am showing you sir i have also done sir. is there um, you got can you my do it yes yes sir yeah you my see my name is there, is there ambarish singh is there agya preet is there dilip kumar koda गरिमा भरद्वाज मोहन प्रगति पुराणिक श्री विद्या गणेशन पल्लवी कलरी वीणा ऑल यूर स्टैटिस्टिक्स इज हियर यस यस सो हाउ मेनी अटेम्प्ट या सो व्हाई दिस इज बिकॉज़ यू विल गिव व्हाट 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 हैपेंस यू विल गिव द वीडियो टू द स्टूडेंट्स यू विल नॉट नो वेदर द स्टूडेंट्स हैव सीन दैट वीडियो और नॉट आर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग Yes, yes, yes. So for the same video, you give twenty-five multiple choice questions so that they will they will answer those questions, and by answer by seeing that answer, you will come to know whether they have really gone through the video or not. There are no discussions, so all these things statistics you will get. You will come to know. Please now I am seeing you see there are how many people now there are actively eleven people who are seeing the video assignment that I have given. So is is could you please check my name is there or not like what what is your Dr. name? Doctor Pallavi. Doctor huh? Pallavi sir. Doctor Pallavi. Is there? I told you. Pallavi no no Doctor Pallavi. I guess there we we are, I guess we have two Pallavis in this group. Okay, 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 okay. One minute. Not yet, I guess. I don't know. So, what's the issue? So, have you gone through this video? Which video? It is not logged in, madam. You have to go go through the video and attempt this question. One question. Sir, I logged in, but how to see the video? Ah, uh, madam, I have shared one. Uh, this one, no. I have shared Long. in the chat box. There is one link I have shared. Yes, sir. In that only I went. But, so ah, it's a chemical video, there. na? Ah, there you go to the uh, what is that multiple choice question? Like this. Here, once you go to the video, go to this okay. think. Okay. Go to that think and answer. Okay. Okay, sir. And watch. You can watch also. If you watch, you will get some. I will get uh, some answer here. Watch, then think. So when a person is watching the video, we also get no notification at that particular moment. Also, the students are watching the video or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will show you. I will. I, I, I am showing you that. Will you? Okay. Student work. Uh, how many people are watching now? Let me check whether Dr. Pallavi has come. Here, you please see. i will come to know when from where for how many minutes they have watched okay pallavi madam you were this one has not come dr pallavi yes sir i am trying yeah see here there are lot of things in the sense you can watch you can think you can discuss okay
So Srinivasa sir, what we have to do by looking at the video? Sir, you just uh, discuss. You go. There are multiple choice questions and all. No, you just you have to answer those. Then I will come to know okay. whether there is. Are you seeing my window now? There is watch. There is think. Yes. There is uh, dig deeper, discuss, yes, and sir. finally you have to go one by one. Watch. Then uh, see first watch. Then you think. Answer the multiple choice questions and open to answer questions. Okay. Then okay. like this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any I find? Find so with this. Uh, any doubt with this? Any doubt? So we if there are no doubt, there is a similar tool, but it is it is a free tool, whereas the other one is a paid tool. So I will show you one paid tool also. Do you have any this one? Hello. So now, shall we move on to the next tool? Same video lesson. How to create an effective video lesson? Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. So there is one more paid tool which is much better actually in future, but yeah. The paid tool is uh, yedpuzzle.com. So what is that? Yedpuzzle.com. Here also, you can log in with your, uh, I am a teacher, you can log in with your Google account. So here, there are a lot of better this one. See, for example, I want to cre create a curriculum, you can create your own curriculum, you can go to create your own content. See, for example, now I will take the other video given by somebody else. Uh, there is a video by Roma Chandra. Let us see this. Sir, what is the name of the tool? Actually, it is not visible from here. Yed, Yedu puzzle. Yed puzzle. E D P U Z L L E. I, I will put it in the this one. Okay, sir. There is no video in YouTube, I think. I think it's Dr. K. Veeraswamy, I think this is the lesson. This is the video, right? Dr. K. Veeraswamy. Ah, Veeraswamy. So, I will put your video. Here, when I search your video, I got your video. So, what I do is, I will put some questions on this video. For example, uh, I start this. So I will ask the first question at this point of time. What is that? Uh, expansion of RNN. What is the RNN? It is recurrent neural network and I will say this is the correct answer. This is um, reusable neural network. Is 
we use it. This is the wrong answer, right? So I will say fin save. Okay. I will put an another question here. One three. They are designed to learn. Hello. बताइए सर हाँ ये ये प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम गुड आफ्टरनून मैडम ओके so you can write some open ended question give an example of i rnn right save so then continue uh, you can also add some note and other things right so i have completed this uh, video lesson i can assign it actually now i want to assign it See one important thing is you can assign this video lecture even to your Google Classroom also. Please see you can assign it a class to with your Google Classroom also, right? And uh, the way it actually works, it is very. Uh, for example, my content, I will go. For example, if I see here, please see the beauty of this.
See, now you have to answer this. For example, expansion. No, it will stop. You have to answer. It is recurrent neural network. Submit. Continue. That means, sir, the video and the questions will go side by side. Yeah. In this. Okay. This is the paid tool. We people cannot see like earlier you have shown us. We cannot go. Madam, one minute. One minute. What? What? What is that? Sir, actually, like earlier you told us, like we log into that video and we responded. Here yeah. also we can do, or it is paid tool. No, here you have to explicitly assign. This is something not open. You have to bring all the students together. You can assign it to Google Classroom. The students okay, who are registered in the Google Classroom, you can assign these videos. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you, sir. So, can it also be assigned on MS Teams, Microsoft Teams? No, madam. No. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Now you see one open question. Give example of RNN. I will write Google. It will stop. Video will not go further. So unless and until you type some uh, so answer, we go, we, it will not say. Okay. So here you have to give. Actually, you can assign these videos, due assignments, due date, class members. You can assign to the videos. As I told you, for example. Go to this my content, go to this and assign. Right? You have to assign it to the class. The class maybe you can add a new class also. You can add, or you can connect it to LMS that is Google Classroom, or you can add the name of the students explicitly. Okay, and you can give the due date, start date, end date, everything you can give, right? So this is an another place. Now I will stop sharing. Do you have any doubt in these two? They are creating a video lesson because in flipped classroom, video lessons are very important. If you don't understand the video lesson, then it becomes a big problem. Okay. Hello. Any questions in these two? Preparation of video lessons. So this is again freeware, no? Uh, this is to it is freeware only, but uh, there okay. are certain additional features which which may ask some money. Otherwise, it is okay. almost free. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Hmm. Sir, likewise, the ma'am asked that we cannot share this on Teams. We people are teaching the students on Teams only. So, what is the other way out for that? Ah, uh, Teams. You then you have to explicitly add students, as I told you. 
you have to explicitly add the to students their email id okay. and other thing okay sir okay this could okay. be the other platform ah these are these are what is that edited and ed puzzle are the two platforms for creating video lessons what they are called video lessons because otherwise the students will not they will say that we have seen the video but how do you know that whether they have seen the video or not okay 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 thank so, you so yeah this is the best way to implement flipped classrooms yeah could it be possible to integrate with moodle yes you can to some extent but i have not tried you have to try on your own otherwise you can explicitly add the students data there is no issue it is not mandatory that you put it them you can explicitly add the the students uh, this one no issues fine any doubt in these two they are very simple tools for creating video lessons so uh, let me have some questions i will just uh, uh, show you one videos because i have already shown uh, those who have doubts let me give i will uh, show you videos for 10 minutes <laughs> you can make as many videos as you want and you never need to pick up a camera hi I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you an overview of how to use one of my favorite tools, and that is Edpuzzle. You can find it at edpuzzle.com. Provides a great way to create lessons based on videos that you've made or videos that you find online. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and log in, and I'm going to log in as a teacher. And as you can see here, you can use your Google account, an Edmodo account, or use any email account that you have to sign up and sign in for the service. Now here I've just used my yeah, Google yeah, account. Yeah. And let's first of all take a look at classes. And that's over on the right hand side here. Click on yeah. my classes and you can see here I can import yeah, yeah, my yeah, 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 yeah. Google Classroom um, if I'd like, or I can yeah, make yeah. a class yeah, 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 yeah. called my yeah, yeah. April 2019 demo class. Uh, now we'll add the class. Uh, and yeah, yeah. Let's add some students. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. students yeah, yeah. can join by Hello. using I can give them also email it to them. That, of course, will open my email client on my computer to do that. Now, let's take a look at how the student would see this. So the student might go to the link that has the code already added to it. And the student can sign in, again, using a Google account, an Edmodo account, or any other type of email or username. And let's use my dog Mason's account just for the sake of demonstration here. And that's Mason barking in the background. Now let's hit the join button. And here in the student account, we see that there are no assignments yet to do. We'll come back to this in a moment. All right, so we'll close out the invite code. And let's go ahead and take a look at how we can now create content and give assignments to students. So if, we, if I refresh this, 
and I click on students, we'll see I now have that one student here in the class. So let's take a look at how we can give out some assignments and create some lessons. So let's go up here to the upper right corner, click on content, and you can use existing lessons and videos if you like. So let's say I'm, I find this video here and I want to take a look at it. We'll see that this is a lesson that someone already made and made it publicly available for other teachers to use. We'll see some questions in it. And we find those by just clicking on the question marks here. And if we want to use that, we can simply click on copy to my content. And now that appears here in my content. And now that I've selected it, I can assign that to my students. So we'll see here that I've selected the video and now I can assign it. When I click the assign button, it brings up all of the classes that I have. I'll assign it to my April 2019 demo class. And I have turned on prevent skipping, which will prevent my students from fast forwarding to the question and trying to lucky guess at the question, as opposed to just watching the video and then answering the question. So I'll assign it. And here I can see now that Mason has not watched any of it. And that's because he hasn't looked at his account yet. So here's the student account. Student now sees that there's an assignment for him or her to complete. Now when they click on that, they'll be able to watch the video and answer these questions. But there are other ways for you to add content to your Edpuzzle account and other ways for you to build lessons. So I've selected content and let's click on my content over here on the left hand side. And I'm going to now choose add content and I can upload a video that I've made. Now obviously you can only upload or you should only upload videos that you've created or have the rights to republish. So let's choose a file. And here I'm going to upload a video from my desktop. I'll use this one here. And once that's uploaded, I can then build questions into it. And so that's what we're going to do right now when this video is uploaded. Now that my video is uploaded, let's click on the edit button. And this is where Edpuzzle really comes alive. And this is how you can add your questions. So if you want to, you can use the cropping tool to crop the video. You can add a voiceover. So you do a voiceover on top of the existing voice that's in the video. You can add audio notes, which will just appear as little notes in the timeline of the video as it's played back or you can add a quiz. And so let's add a quiz question and I'll forward it along here to about this point. So let's click on the place marker here and you can add an open-ended question like this one or you can use a multiple choice question. All right, my question. And you can add multiple options beyond the two that are there by default. And then save it. Now you can repeat that process as many times as you like. 
you want to forward it further, click again. You can add an open ended question, multiple choice question, or just simply write a comment. Now you're done with this, click save, and then click finish to assign it to your class. And we'll assign it that way. And now we see here that Mason has still not done any work. Let's bring up Mason's account again. And now he has two assignments that he has to do here. Now, as the teacher, if I want to go and look at any of the assignments, I'll just go into my gradebook. And I can see there's Mason. And I can see both of those assignments. Now, if I want to add a due date, I can add a due date to it. Let's call it next Friday at 11 p.m. And we'll hit the save button. So now it has a due date. And if Mason is looking at these, he'll now see he has a due date for that assignment. And he has one that doesn't have a due date. And obviously, he has nothing completed. Now, one other question I'm often asked about Edpuzzle is, can I add videos that I found on YouTube outside of Edpuzzle? And you certainly can. To do that, let's say you opened up a YouTube video. Maybe you found this one here by a tour of Google Earth. And you can simply now go to the YouTube option and rather than doing a search, you can paste in the link and now you're ready to start adding your voiceover, your audio notes, or your quiz questions into Edpuzzle. So that's a short overview of how you can create lessons using Edpuzzle. For more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com. Hope you understood this. Uh, could it, any doubts? Because these are the two things which are very important uh, in uh, understanding the art of creating the video lessons. Okay. So, any doubts till here? These are all practical sessions. So, you have to work along with us so that you will understand uh, the tools effectively. Okay. So now, one more, how many of you know these hot potatoes? Any idea? This is also a very good tool, which is free and open source. Um, I will just uh, show you. Uh, after that, I will show you the, uh, this one. The hot potatoes you have to download from the uh, this one. I will show you later. Uh, from where you have to download hot potatoes can be downloaded from this page which is yeah this is the hot potatoes home page you can download hot potato 7.0 installer and the hard potato where it is used it is used for please see it is used with six applications what are the applications it will enable you to create interactive multiple choice short answer jumbled sentence crossword matching ordering gap fill exercises for the world wide web okay so this is a very nice application once you download this uh, you will get an application installed like this. So, now for example, I want to create a quiz. You have to go something called J quiz. 
you have to write what is the title of the quiz what is the question what are the answers what is the percentage of correction you have all the choices multiple choice short answer hybrid multi select and other things so similarly you can have j close what is j close it is actually creating a mind map okay show the words and it will create a mind map j close okay similarly i will show you the videos for in this there is something like j match that is you are match the following you can create a match the following here also uh then j cross you can create a very good cross uh crossword okay using j cross and finally you have something called a masher masher means which includes lot of other things so i will now show you some videos on hot potatoes so that you will understand how this first let us see how to create a quiz using hot potatoes first let us see how to create a quiz for the hot potatoes quiz module firstly you will need to download the quiz module from the internet and install the application on your desktop once you do that double click the hot potatoes icon on your desktop and the software would load up then you need to click on the j quiz icon and the quiz module will load up which will help you set up the quiz in a really easy manner so now as you can see there's one single page here where you need to set up the quiz starting off you need to enter the title for the quiz where i'm going to enter over here testing quiz module and all your questions for the quiz will be entered over here in the question text box and you can browse through the various number of questions using the up and bottom arrow keys over here now you can select the type of question by select using the drop down list over here which says multiple choice short answer hybrid and multiple select so you can have various types of questions set up for you in the quiz so and over here is the weight, weighting option for example if you have a particular question which has more weight uh, regarding in, in regards to the total grade for the quiz then you can set up the weight for the questions over here using the bottom and top arrows or you can simply type in the text box with the number you wish now the bottom of the screen is divided into two columns on the left are your answers and on the right are the feedback for every answer so you have four options for every uh, question a b c d can be entered over here on the left column and then on the right column you have a feedback uh, option where you can enter feedback for any particular question which the student would answer in the quiz now to select a particular option in the question as your correct answer you can select the accept as correct uh, checkbox on the right and this automatically adds a hundred percent grade for that particular question or you if you have more than one answer for a particular question you can select two of them and then make this 50 and the first option 52 okay so now let's uh, add a few questions in here and I would uh, revert all these to the default uh, uh, numbers and starting off with the question number one uh, let me type in what is the capital of USA so your answer options would be uh, Washington DC New York Boston Miami now uh, Washington DC obviously is the correct answer so I'm gonna say accept as correct and make this 100% because there's no other correct answer for this question now I don't want any feedback in there I'm going to move to question two by clicking on the top arrow here so you can see question two and to the question here says uh, how many states in the USA uh, 
person in the USA. So now uh, the options for these I could write as uh, 30, 45, uh, 52, and 50. Okay. So now obviously 50 is the correct answer. So I'm just going to say accept as correct and 100% uh, grade for that correct answer. Now moving ahead to question three, I can add um, uh, who is, oh, sorry about that, who is Yogi Bear's companion. And the answers could be Okay, so now obviously A is a correct answer. Uh, I, I think so. Uh, so I'm going to say accept is correct and 100% rate for that. So now uh, I'm going to save the quiz, but before saving the quiz, what you can do is you can configure the way it looks and various other options by clicking on this little icon here that says uh, configuration screen. So on this configuration screen, you can move through various tabs here on top, for example, prompts and feedback. So over here, so whenever there's a correct answer selected, you can uh, either say correct or whatever you need in there. You can customize all these options in here. So once the answer is guessed correctly, say, for example, well done. And uh, if it's guessed incorrectly, uh, bad luck, move on to the next question. Okay. Now, uh, and all the other buttons and the appearance of the quiz, all that can be customized here by you. Okay. Um, and then I click on OK, and then just click on the Save This Exercise button. Once you do that, you need to enter a file name, and I'm going to say um, has been quiz module, and leave this as your default file, the jQuiz file. You can leave that as a default extension. And just save it anywhere on your desktop or your computer. Click on Save. Now. The next thing you'll have to do is upload this file to Moodle, to your course, basically. So I'm going to open my browser, and I'm going to turn editing on. So on my course homepage, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the week I want to add it to. I'm going to say I'm going to add it to this week over here. I'm going to say add an activity and select hot potatoes quiz. And again, over here, this is really simple to do because all the options over here, you're going to leave as the default options. And all you need to do here is select the file you just saved on your desktop and upload it to your course. So the name of the file is what uh, I have uh, the quiz named as. So I'm going to say get from quiz, or you can have a specific text as the name of this particular uh, exercise or quiz. So I'm just going to say get from quiz. And then the file name, I'm going to say choose or upload a file. And I want to upload a file. I say choose file. So these are all the files on my computer now. So I'm going to browse through and select the file I just created, testing quiz module. I say open, upload this file. And now testing quiz module has been uploaded here. So I'm going to say choose. So that file has been selected. And now everything else can be left as a default option. But if you want the quiz open for a particular time, you can disable these options and select that time over here. You can password protect the quiz if you wanted to. I'm going to disable it for now. Um, and then you can come all the way down here and say save and return to course. And it's that simple to set up a quiz now. We're using the Hot Potatoes uh, software, OK? So now I'm going to turn editing off, switch my role to that of a student, and now click on the quiz I just created. So as you can see, all these questions and everything would load up automatically here with the title for your quiz up here, the question, the options. So now uh, I'm going to answer a few questions here, and you can say Washington, D.C., well done, your score is 100%. You click OK, you go to the next question. How many states are present in the U.S.? I'm going to say 50. It scores 100%. OK, I say next. And now who's your best companion? Now, remember, we had A as the correct option, so I'm going to, for example, select a wrong answer here, say the sheriff. So it's the wrong answer. Uh, now, as we went through all these questions here, You'll notice that each question is presented one at a time, or if you like to uh, have all these questions presented on a single page, you can just say show all questions and you can have all of them presented on a single page, okay? So once you do this here, and say boo boo, the correct answer. So now the quiz results are saved, and uh, all your results can be viewed from within the quiz itself.
Okay. So now uh, this session has been concluded, and uh, I will post the link for you to download the hot potato software on your computer and uh, evaluate it. So fine. Uh, now similarly, uh, I will show you how to create a hot potato puzzle. The potato that says J cross, which is the option for creating a crossword puzzle. When the next screen appears, you have a blank grid. Over to the left, you can enter a title for your crossword puzzle. And then you can start creating your words horizontally and vertically on the grid. Or you can go to the Manage Grid option and select Automatic Grid Maker, where you will then enter each word or phrase on a separate line. I'm only going to enter a few here, and we'll make the grid. You'll notice that the program automatically lines them up for you. Next, you have to add clues so that the user can figure out the words that go in the spaces. Over to the left again, I will click the Add Clues button. At the top, I will select Gold, and then in this bar at the bottom, I will type my clue for the word Gold. When I'm finished, I will click OK. I will then select the next word and select OK again. Finally, down at the bottom, I will select my last word and enter its clue. And finally, I will hit OK. <coughs> now that all the clues are added and the words are on the grid, I want to save my document. And then that only saves this particular Hot Potatoes program file. If I want to make it a web-based file, I will use this icon right here that says export to create a Hot Potatoes version 6 web page. And I will click it. And I notice it is now an HTM file and so I want to save it as well. Finally, when it's done saving, I can view the exercise in my browser. And it's a very small crossword puzzle, but notice the instructions say complete the crossword, then click on check to check your answer. If you are stuck, you can click on hint to get a free letter. Click on a number in the grid to see the clue or clues for that number. So all I have to do is click on, for example, number two, and it gives me Marion Local Secondary School Color, and I put the word gold, and I click Enter. Continuing on, Marion Local's Primary School Color, I cannot figure that out, so it will give me a hint, and if I keep hitting hint, it will eventually spell it out for me. And then last. And I'll hit check. And it says correct. Well done, your score is 75% because I used the hint to get the answer for blue. And that is how you create a crossword puzzle using hot potatoes. So, fine. Uh, at the end, I will show you uh, how to create a J mix, jumbled sentence, which is also very important for understanding uh, purpose. So could you please tell me the name of the earlier platform which you have just shown that crossword? Hot potatoes. Name? It is all hot potatoes. Okay, fine. Thank you, sir. Hot potatoes. You can download it. I will show you. I will. This hot potatoes is only used for creating multiple uh, questions. Like, uh, yeah, as I told you, hot potatoes they are used for uh, quizzes, then uh, uh, crosswords, then uh, jumble sentences, 
then um, mix and match sorry mix and match fill up the following many things and it can be this can be integrated as it was demonstrated in earlier video with your moodle this is okay, not a standalone sir. entity this you have to use it as the, along with your moodle or a separate web browser this is a supplementary tool we yeah. can add on yeah okay. uh, because moodle does not have many support this using this hot potato you can create very nice uh, uh, assignments with moodle okay sir thank you sir yeah so at the end we will see how to create a jumbled sentence you will learn how to create exercises in which learners have to build sentences or words out of the provided jumbled elements. As always, first let's see what content I prepared for this exercise. In this file, I have content for two exercises. In the first one, I will have learners come up with the name of the animal that is shown in the picture. Their task will be to create words out of letters. Here I have three animals. Note that each letter for each word is typed separately. These are the elements the learners will be working with. In the second exercise, they will be working with sentences. You notice that in my instructions I refer to pictures. If I go back to my folder, you will see that I have pictures of the animals all ready for this exercise. Now let's open the Hot Potatoes menu, and this time I'm selecting JMix. When the working window opens, I will save my file as MixWord1. I will add my title and my elements. Now I need to add my picture. As you remember from the previous tutorials, I can add the picture right into the title line by clicking insert picture and then selecting a picture from the local file. This way the picture will be above the sentence in the middle of the page. This time however I want the picture to appear to the left of the task. To do that I will click add reading text button. The reading text. I will set my browser into the reading text area and then click insert picture picture from local file. I will click OK and save my file. Now in the options menu I will change the exercise subtitle to mixed up word exercise and I will add my instructions. Here under buttons I will also add the next exercise. As you can see, the JMix only allows you to have one element at a time, but I want to have my animal pictures connected to each other. Although I don't have the file yet, I know that my file will be called MixWord2. I'll click OK. I will save my file. Now let's see how it looks in the browser. When I go to the Create Web Page options, you can see that I have two formats here, Standard and Drag and Drop format. This time I will produce the file in the Standard format. I will save it as MixWord1. Let's take a look how it looks. As you can see, I have my picture on the left side and I have the elements on the right. The learner's task is to click on the letters to come up with an answer. If they made a mistake, they can click undo or completely restart. Yeah, hope you have seen these tools. Um, any doubts because they are all very powerful tools that you can work with any doubts now you can ask questions my session is over here i have in this session i have demonstrated you two video lesson creating tools and one tool uh, that is hot potatoes which is completely free and open source that you can use it for 
creating interesting assignments which is not there in regular google classroom or anywhere right that is uh, the thing so now you can ask any question questions please you can work on all these things tools on your own there is no issue you will find lot of materials so today i have talked about ted ed dot ted and ed puzzle and hot potatoes these are the three tools that we have talked about which is very important and very nice you can use it so if you have any doubts you can ask on any of the tools also there is no issue no doubts no sir so thank you thank you for telling us about these open sources sir thank yeah, you so yeah. much in this uh, ed puzzle is not open source whereas edted and hot potatoes both are open source ed sir, puzzle and... is not only only for the basic version i guess it's free yeah yeah basic version you can use no issue okay sir Actually, it needs a practice. So until and unless yeah, yeah, you practice, yeah, yeah. I have just given a demo, but you will get lot of yes, uh, web uh, eat, uh, YouTube videos. You can do it. It is not a big issue. Yes, sir. Earlier we were not knowing about this tools. Thank yeah. you, sir. Thank you Thank for you. guiding us and telling us. Thank you. But they are very interesting in the sense you will understand lot of things in this, and you can capture what the students are doing. That is very important. fine there if there are no questions we will close no sir thank you from our thank side. you thank you yeah okay thank you uh, if there are I, if there are no more questions thank you one and all see you tomorrow thank you for such an interesting session sir thank you so much